Meet James. He's in the face of his life when the world should be his oyster. But balancing work, relationship, and well-being has become a constant struggle. Anxiety has crippled his life, leaving him trapped in a cycle of stress, sleepless nights, and hundreds of thoughts are racing through his head every single day. Because of this, he finds it really hard to focus and be in the moment. His health is also declining, and worst of all, he struggles to enjoy life. But luckily for James and many others, there is many ways to deal with anxiety. I'll share with you guys three simple tools that will help you deal with your anxiety. Before we dive into those powerful tools that will help you deal with your anxiety, we need to understand what anxiety really is and how to identify it so we know when to use those tools. Anxiety is the feeling of having a knot in your stomach and those restless thoughts that can sometimes make every day feel like an uphill battle. It's you constantly feeling worried, uneased, and stressed. The tools I'm gonna give you are very diverse. It can be something as easy as taking a pill or something that takes a little bit more skill and practice to learn. The simplest things are effective, but not as effective as the one that takes time and skill to master. But we're gonna start with the easiest one because that's one everybody can do and there's no time of investment. Did you know that anxiety is your body's specific reaction to stress? That means for many of us, our anxiety is triggered by us being stressed. The first tool and the easiest tool that might help you deal with your anxieties are supplements. So they are very easy to integrate into your life. They require no time investment or lifestyle compromises really. And the supplements that are specifically going to help you are called adaptogens. But typically the adaptogens are going to reduce cortisol. So for instance, ashwagandha is a very potent suppressor of cortisol. Adaptogens are natural substances that will help you deal with stress better. If you reduce your stress, you'll reduce the thing that triggers your anxiety. And the adaptogen I recommend is ashwagandha. There are dozens of studies that show that ashwagandha can reduce cortisol levels, which is your stress hormone. And right now, it is the supplement that is considered to be most effective to reducing anxiety. Also a bonus with ashwagandha is that there are studies that have shown that ashwagandha can also improve your testosterone level. And next week I am actually posting a video of how ashwagandha and another natural supplement helped me increase my testosterone to 1003 nanogram each deciliter completely naturally. So stay subscribed so you don't miss out on that banger. All right, back to the video. So in my first ever spring semester in university, I would stay up late every single night, which meant I would wake up tired every single day. I would go to class sleep deprived. I wouldn't learn anything from my classes because I was so tired during those classes. I started developing anxiety because I was starting to feel like I was falling behind on my studies. And what's funny about this whole thing is that my anxiety would keep me up at night, which led to me waking up even more tired the next days. And me waking up more tired led to me falling further behind in life. And it all became an evil circle. These were my grades my first spring semester. These were my grades my last spring semester. The next tips I'm gonna give you is very simple also, but it requires small lifestyle adjustment. And it is to get more sleep. Sleep is so important for our well-being, especially when it comes to our anxiety, stress, and depression. So get more sleep. Sounds simple, right? Well, I know for a fact it isn't that simple for me. So here are some simple tips you can integrate to get more sleep every day. 
The first tip I am going to give you to get more sleep is a really unpopular one, but it has helped me tremendously. And it is to avoid coffee, especially afternoon. I know you don't want to hear it, but listen, coffee too late in the day can disrupt your sleep. And also coffee in general, too much coffee can actually increase your anxiety and also give you the jitter which is not great if you have anxiety. Another easy way to get more sleep is to get more sunlight. Sunlight can actually directly reduce feeling of anxiety and depression. Plus, it helps regulate your body circadian rhythm. The idea here is to teach your brain that it's bedtime when you hit the sack, instead of your brain dropping a thousand thoughts on you as soon as your head hit the pillow. So to integrate these tips to get better sleep, I recommend you to not drink coffee after 1 p.m. And when it comes to get, getting more sunlight, I recommend you to free up five to 10 minutes every single day to grab sunset. I know life can be hectic, especially during those sunsets hour. We all are busy usually then, but five to 10 minutes is not that much to run out just to grab sunsets. And sunsets are such a powerful tool for your sleep. You gotta try it. The last tool I'm gonna give you is the most powerful tool in my opinion, and it's a direct action you can use each time you feel anxious. It's so powerful that it will not just only help you with your anxiety, it will help you with your focus, it can help you with your sleep and overall well-being. It is something that is really simple, but it's a technique and it takes a little bit time to master. And it is meditation, or breath work. Once you have mastered this technique, it will be like a superpower. It will help you stay calm and cool under pressure at work. It will help you stay aware and mindful at all time, even when life gets chaotic. And I'm not gonna lie to you guys, Meditation will take a little bit time to learn. I can't even meditate for longer than a minute, but you can learn breath work, which is a lot easier and almost just as effective against anxiety. There are so many videos and apps out there that can teach you about breath work and it's super easy to find them. But if you want something really simple and easy to begin with, I recommend the 444, which is a four second inhale, four second hold, Four second exhale, four second hold, and then repeat again the process. And after you've done it for a while and you want something more challenging, you just increase the duration of your breath work or you can increase the second of each inhale and hold. Just like training, you progressive overload. All the tools I just gave you are tools that will help you deal and manage your anxiety and stress. But if you can, I recommend you to truly find out the cause of your anxiety and try to deal with it ASAP. I know life can be hectic and there's so much thing that need to be done or prioritized. We all have our responsibilities and sometimes our internal problem just seems too insignificant to deal with straight away. But the worst thing you can do is not take action and keep postponing dealing with the issue. Because the longer you wait, the more the anxiety will grow. And until you deal with it, the anxiety will cripple every aspect of your life. So try to make time and you should prioritize your anxiety.
I've struggled with anxiety many times throughout my whole life. And for me, it started at a very young age. I know now that anxiety is something that comes and goes throughout our life. But it's up to us if we let it define the quality of our life. When you deal with your anxiety, you will feel like a ton is lifted off your shoulder. You'll be able to enjoy every aspect of life so much more. It will be so much easier for you to be in the moment. As soon as you're done with it, the only thing you regret after is that you didn't deal with it sooner. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I really, really hope that some of you found this video useful. These are tips that have helped me with my anxiety throughout my whole life. If you enjoy this type of content, consider to subscribe. I post regularly. Also check out this video. All right. Stay healthy, keep thriving, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace!